guys it's Ashley welcome back to my channel hope you're doing well so as you can see by the title of today's video today we are doing something a little bit different today we're doing a ranking video and we are going to be ranking the Michael Myers masks I know that I haven't finished covering all of the Halloween films on my channel and I wanted to wait until after I covered the Blumhouse trilogy to do like a ranking video of the films so once I finish covering the Blumhouse trilogy. I will be doing that video, but today we are just ranking the Michael Myers masks. And this is just my personal opinion, of course, nothing more. Also just wanted to note really quickly that I'm only going to be including the main mask of each film. So like, for example, you know, in Halloween H2O, there was a couple different masks that they used. There was like a digital mask, there was the K&B mask. They used the H6 mask for a couple moments. I'm only going to be including the Stan Winston mask because to me, that is the main mask of H2O. Similarly, I'm not going to be including things like Bandage Face Myers from part four, or the flashback mask from Halloween Kills, even though I love those two. Just wanted to keep it simple and just include the main mask of each film. So there are, and this is not including Halloween 3, Season of the Wish, there are 12 Michael Myers movies. So there are going to be 12 masks in this ranking. Also, just, just a reminder, just saying again, we're just ranking the masks not the film. With that being said though, it just so happens that my least favorite Michael Myers mask also happens to be from my least favorite Halloween film, and my favorite Michael Myers mask is from my favorite Halloween film. Yeah, it just, it, it just happened that way. <laughs> so, with that being said, let's just start with my least favorite Michael Myers mask, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. So, when I think of Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, I think of Michael wearing the mask that's torn with half of his face just, you know, exposed, which just doesn't do it for me at all. I mean, I'm not a fan of Michael's overall look in this one to begin with, his outfit, his large build, his beard. I find it almost comical just how far this strayed away from the Michael Myers that I know and love. And we're just talking looks here. Don't get me started with the actual film itself. <laughs> But yeah, this mask is in last place because it's barely a mask to me. I mean, what more can I really say about it? So next worst mask, number 11, is the Halloween Resurrection Mask. I have always hated this mask personally. I know there are some defenders of it. I mean, at least it's covering his whole face. Uh, but that's not really saying much. I don't know why they chose to make his eyebrows so damn dark and there are what seems to be very odd wrinkles in this mask, particularly between the eyebrows and the cheeks, so what on a regular human face would be smile and laugh lines. Um, I don't know, they just, I think they overdid it with the shading in those specific areas of the face. He looks very sunken in. I suppose you could argue that they were trying to make the mask look a little bit more human-like, but um, this mask is just so ugly. Sorry, Mike. Yeah, this mask, this mask is a, it's a rough one. <laughs> and which is why it's my second worst mask. So number 10 is the Halloween 5 mask, or sometimes as I like to call it, the Nicolas Cage mask. <laughs> this one to me, depending on the day, I could maybe switch with Resurrection. They're almost equally as bad. Uh, but the Halloween 5 mask, he just looks like an alien with those eye holes. Probably the worst thing about this mask is the hair though, like this just balding, receding hairline. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Does it help that he doesn't tuck in his mask throughout the entire film? So the bottom of the mask, like the bottom line of the mask is just hanging out the entirety of the film and it just irks me so much. Maybe the only positive I can give this one is that there may be some scenes here and there throughout the film where it kind of looks okay. Um, however, those are very low lit scenes and even then I'm probably giving it too much credit. <laughs> yeah, the Halloween 5 mask is just, it's very strange and not scary or pleasant at all to look at. Speaking of strange and not very pleasant to look at, we have the Halloween 4 mask coming in at number 9. So contrary to what I said about the Halloween Resurrection mask, for example, and how that one had too much shading in certain areas, this one has kinda none at all. 
It is the blankest slate out of them all, which results in it looking very silly. However, I will say, I said this in my Halloween 4 commentary, there are certain moments where I feel like the mask does work. Like, you know, when Michael is in Jamie's nightmare towards the beginning, uh, but there are other factors that sort of help it out, like such as lighting and just overall suspense of the scene. But most of the movie, unfortunately, he just kind of looks like this. <laughs> Goofy. So yeah, the Halloween 4 mask. I've heard quite a few people say that this is like their least favorite mask of them all. So it's not my least favorite, but I, I don't know. It still kind of works for me in certain scenes of the film. Still not great though. <laughs> So coming in at number 8, we have the Halloween H2O mask. Like I said in my intro, this is the Stan Winston mask. Again, I'm aware of, of course, there being a few different masks used for H2O, but like I said, when I think of H2O, I do think of the Stan Winston mask, which was not the original mask, but the mask that they used in reshoots. So I gotta be honest here, I admit this isn't the greatest mask. I wish they would have used the Halloween 6 mask for H2O. But I don't mind the Stan Winston mask. Um, my main issues with this mask though is the hair being way too spiky and just being able to clearly see so much of the skin around Michael's eyes. Uh, they should have put some black makeup around his eyes or something. I think that would have helped it quite a bit. Uh, make it a little bit more mysterious how it was in the original, but I think maybe they could have also, you know, hairsprayed his hair down a little, little bit, you know, give him some serum or something to help that hair. But yeah, I just, I personally don't hate this mask. Despite all those things I just said, I don't hate it that much and definitely admit that it could have been better, but I don't hate it. So next at number seven, we have Rob Zombie's Halloween. So very different from his second film. <laughs> I think the mask in this one is actually quite good. I really don't have very many issues with it at all. One minor issue I have kind of similar to H2O in a way. There are certain moments where I can kind of see too much of the skin around his eyes, which I don't like, uh, but it's honestly not that much and doesn't really make a huge difference or affect the film at all. I don't mind that it has a very weathered, like, dirty look to it um, with some minor tears and cracks, but it's still intact. So yeah, I think this one looks pretty creepy, pretty sinister, so not too many complaints for me. Next at number 6, we have Halloween 6, Curse of Michael Myers mask. Now it's no secret that I am a pretty big fan of this mask. I just really love this mask, I don't know, I think unlike the resurrection mask, this actually succeeded whether this was intentional or not, in making the mask look kind of like skin, um, like real skin. I don't know, there is a certain quality to it that to me personally kind of makes it look a little more human-like than some of the other masks. Could just be the cinematography and filmmaking of part six in general, but I just really, I really enjoy this mask. I think I mentioned in my Curse of Michael Myers commentary, I feel like they made the ears a little big. Uh, I don't know, there are just certain scenes where his ears just kind of stick out to me, but that's literally kind of nitpicking because it doesn't really ruin anything. Yeah, I don't have any complaints about the hair or the shading or the eyes even. Yeah guys, I don't know, I just, I really love this mask. And yeah, clearly at this point we're into the mask that I, I love <laughs> and are my favorites. So continuing my ranking, we have the Halloween Ends mask. Now, I have to be honest, the Halloween Kills mask and the Halloween Ends masks are interchangeable to me because honestly, they just look they just look so similar to me. I just decided to put Halloween Ends mask at number 5 today, but honestly, it doesn't really make much of a difference to me, which is fine because I love them both. <laughs> I know that they're obviously not the same. The Halloween Ends mask is a little dirtier you know michael's been he's been hiding away for a while <laughs> he's a little bit more dusty uh but yeah just such a damn damn good mask so obviously that means i'm putting the halloween kills mask at number four i'm just yeah i'm just obsessed with the attention to detail that they put into this mask obviously the film begins with him escaping the fire so he is burnt he is crispy to the max. 
the burn effect on the corner of the mouth that goes up the side of his face that very subtly resembles this really creepy smile. I love that. I just love that. They just did an incredible job showing all the wear and tear and damage. It's just, it's just an amazing mask. I think, you know, whether you love or hate the Blumhouse Halloween films, you gotta admit they did an amazing job with the mask, with Michael's mask. He looks badass. <laughs> so coming in at number three, we have the Halloween 2 mask from 1981. Now you may be thinking, um, Ashley, this is actually the same mask that they used in the original Halloween. Yes, <laughs> I know that. However, you can't deny that the state of this mask by this point is just so different. And before I knew that piece of trivia that this is actually the same mask from 78, I would have thought it was a completely different mask because it just looks very different in a lot of ways. And I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Obviously I have it as my number three, so it's safe to say I love this mask. I actually think that it is probably one of the more demented and creepier looking masks out of them all because there's just something off about it to me, the warping of it. And I don't even think this was intentional. You know, between the 78 and 81 films, the mask was not necessarily kept in the best conditions. The nose looks a lot less pointed and more wide. The lips are a lot more lopsided and crooked. The coloring is slightly off. And of course, it was different actors portraying the shape, different face shapes. All of those factors make the mask appear differently. And you know, I love it. It's the same mask, but very much its own at this point, I think. At least that's how I've, I've always viewed it. So moving on to my top two masks. Going back to Blumhouse, we have the Halloween 2018 mask in the number two spot. I don't think I have like a single complaint for this mask. It's supposed to be the original mask 40 years later and they just nailed it. This is my favorite version of the mask from the Blumhouse trilogy. Like I said, I love them all. This just happens to be my personal favorite. It's less torn up and crispy as the one from Kills and Ends, but it still has that beautiful aged effect. And it's believable that this is the same mask from 1978. Of course, it is a different mask and it would look different at that point with the amount of time that's passed but it's very believable to me that that's supposed to be the same mask. I think they added just enough detail to the face without overdoing it. It's still frightening. I'm just so in love with the way the masks look in the Blumhouse films. I think we have this expertly done, gradual disintegration of this mask as the trilogy goes on. It's, it's perfect. So we reached number one, and it's absolutely no surprise to anyone that my favorite Michael Myers mask is 1978's Halloween. The OG mask, I mean, come on now. <laughs> Talk about iconic. I mean, absolutely iconic and unmatched. Thank you, William Shatner. Uh, yeah, this original mask, I feel it is so simple, but so undeniably sinister. And that was the whole thing, you know, this blank, pale, emotionless face which Michael had, and then this mask that also reflects that blankness, this unexplainable evil. And then the way John Carpenter and Dean Cundey shot the film, shot the mask, coming out of the darkness, even in the scene in broad daylight with him behind the bush or in the backyard staring up at Lori. The mask looks frightening and so good in literally every way that they filmed it. You can't say that about a lot of the other masks in the franchise. And I talked about this briefly in my Halloween commentary, but if you had that original VHS or DVD, or just know the image I'm talking about, there's that image of Michael on the back cover of the VHS that's not actually in the film, of him standing at that closet door, and it just terrified me. And there's even a certain, a certain strange sadness to this mask that is also very unexplainable, but I'm so intrigued by it. And you can see that in the film in certain scenes as well. And I notice it a little bit in the Blumhouse masks as well. Something in the eyes, just something behind the eyes. And it's, it's incredible, just incredible, which is why it's my number one favorite 
Michael Myers mask and honestly it's my favorite mask period. So yeah, that was my personal ranking of all the Michael Myers masks. Like I said before, I know that I didn't mention every single Michael Myers mask. Like for instance, I love the mask in the flashback from Halloween Kills. I absolutely love that mask. But I just wanted to rank the main masks here in this video today. But if you want to leave your personal ranking of all the masks in the comments below and you want to include those other Michael Myers masks that I didn't mention, please feel free to do that. And yeah, this was a lot of fun. I love talking about anything Halloween or Michael Myers related any time of year, so definitely want to do more videos like this in the future. Please leave any recommendations or similar video ideas in the comments below. And yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Thank you.